Hello, welcome to Glorietta Pass Battlefield. This is Philip S. Greenwald, Emerging Civil War. We're looking down at Pigeon Ranch. Um, at that time, it would have been a lot more open terrain. You can kind of see the top of the uh, roof there. The Union line under John Slough, commander of the 1st Colorado Infantry and the ranking Union uh, leader here on the battle. Would have had a parallel line there. Lieutenant Colonel William Scurry, uh, nicknamed Dirty Shirt. Um, unknowns to him, he's actually promoted to full colonel here on March 28th, 1862. He's leading the assaults, pushing back the Union. Um, he would gain the battlefield. Slough's men would retreat farther back to the right of this uh, video, back to Kozlowski Ranch, giving the battlefield to the Texans. Uh, one of the men who would fall here is Major John Shropshire. He would be killed, shot through the head, kind of right near where we're standing. This battle, uh, although the missile actions fought March 26th around Apache Canyon, um, and then all the 27th, continuing on the 28th, would produce less than 500 casualties. However, there would be about 2,700, or 2,400, excuse me, can't do math, men involved. As this battle's going, I know the Scurry's main force, their lightly guarded supply wagon train uh, back at Johnson's Ranch has been destroyed by uh, Union forces under Major John Shivington and Lieutenant Colonel Chavez of New Mexico Volunteers, who had seen how lightly it's guarded from one of the um, vantage points, the Mesa here, uh, Florida Mesa, and they had destroyed it, uh, raided down, scattered the Confederate uh, defenders, what they couldn't take, they burnt, they uh, ran off any horses and mules. Scurry's forces would have to retreat back to Santa Fe, then continue to retreat down to Mexico, not ending until they're back in San Antonio, Texas. But some of the soldiers left behind included the Captain Isaac Adair, who would succumb to his wounds on March 28th, uh, wounds received on March 28th. He would die in Santa Fe, along with 66 other Texas Confederates be buried in the National Cemetery. So this battle, uh, all the light casualties and far afield from where we usually see Civil War engagements, uh, was a very important, critical part of the New Mexico campaign. It ruined Sibley's designs to conquer even larger uh, vast territories of the Southwest. It also secured um, New Mexico for the Union. No more major Confederate invasions would happen. So Glorietta Pass Battlefield is preserved today by Pecos National Historical Park. They have a little over a 2.25 mile hike you can take around, which I'm showing you right now. Um, so if you're interested in visiting, right off I-25 between Santa Fe and Las Vegas, New Mexico, definitely worth the stop to see this hollow ground where the Gettysburg of the West was fought March 26th and March 28th, 1865.